we're going to talk about hybrid campers and show you ours and I'll tell you all the things we love about it. Uh, if you're like us, you've probably tent camped, we did once, and then you get a pop-up and then you decide you want a little bit more, but you're restricted by towing capacity. And that is the beauty of a hybrid camper, is you get a whole lot of camper with minimal towing capacity, so most vehicles can tow hybrid camper. When you see one axle, you know it's under 5,000 pounds, and so most likely towable by your vehicle. And we've actually pulled this from Florida to Canada and back with a family of four, and it was fantastic. So the first thing that we love about this camper is it is super easy to set up. It literally takes two minutes to set up. So I'll show you real quick. And this particular one has built-in cabling inside. So all you have to do is stick the prop up and pop your bed down. And voila, you have so when you get inside, this has built-in cable support, so you don't have to put any props or anything underneath. This holds the bed up. And then you dig out your tent support. Snap it on your bar. Put it up. Lock it in. and flop down your bed. So some of the features of this particular camper, it has two queen size beds and they're a smaller queen size bed. It's not a really real full size queen size bed. It's bigger than a full though. Curtains are standard issue I think on every camper. And then the front has a queen size bed as well. So it sleeps four there. Plus the tables always make into a bed. So, and then the other thing, we actually use this bench as a bed. And we just pull down the back cushion. And one of the modifications I made on this was um, I hinged this board and just made it a couple inches longer than it would normally be. And that's enough that it gives this a good width. Otherwise it wasn't quite wide enough and you'd fall right off. But, and plus easy access. When you upgrade from a pop-up to a regular camper like this, it's just amazing because when you go to pack, you can actually put your stuff away. Whereas with a pop-up, we had to pack our stuff and then unpack it and repack it. And it's just, it was the most amazing thing. You have room for a TV that's permanently mounted. We have our standard air conditioning unit, which is amazing because we live in the South. Built-in microwave. I don't have to dig that out and unpack it. A little bit bigger fridge, and this one comes with a freezer, so you can have a little bit of ice or ice cream. Um, and what we did, we um, added a little fan just to circulate the air because otherwise it was very inconsistent when you get to be a size bigger. And they're really inexpensive, and we just hardwired it. Um, we don't have, there's some that are battery operated, but none of them reviewed that good. And it comes with a little stove burner stove and I made this box to cover the stove so I can use it as like a TV tray and then it also gives us a place to set stuff and do stuff when we're not using our stove that's flat which is really nice and that was easy to make the second thing I love about this camper is it has a toilet not having to pee in the woods or run to the bathroom early in the morning, late at night when it's nasty out is amazing. Um, so this little toilet. And we learned pretty quick. <laughs> uh, for the most part, don't put toilet paper in the toilet because it really just kind of piles up in the bottom underneath. And the other thing I learned pretty quick is you don't just leave your sewer water to drain. You let it build up and then you flush it all at once and then almost run a second load to keep everything flushed and clean. Otherwise, things just get plugged up and it just doesn't, it, it doesn't work. And so we don't use the shower. We stay at regular campgrounds that have hot water showers and things. So I turned this into a storage area. I bought this rack at Walmart. I forget how much it was, 20 bucks or something. It was cheap. 
and then screwed it into the wall and then added some shoe hanging and organizing hangers and we all have our bathroom bin ready to go just grab it and you can go shower and take your clothes with you and stuff and that worked out really well like I said we camped for two weeks in this and we it was fine we had plenty of room we didn't feel cramped at all the other thing that I've done is um, have my little bins here but we went ahead and got pop-up gizmos and I haven't had a chance to use them because on the days it was 40 we only have like a single layer vinyl tent and it rained inside not because it leaked but because of the condensation you know you run a heater inside it's cold outside and then you end up with condensation on the ceiling and it rains on you so after getting rained on one night I invested in the pop-up gizmos this camper comes with a 10 gallon water tank and pump and it has a battery on the front and so when you are at rest stops and things guess what you have your own bathroom and sink it is really nice especially if you're a germaphobe like me or if you're traveling in the middle of nowhere you have a bathroom this table is a size bigger than the ones our pop-up had which is really nice because this is the perfect size it's about 32 by 50 inches, 2.5 by 4 feet. It's perfect. It's very comfortable. We have room for everything. A nice size. And I was worried about the storage this camper had. I didn't think it would be enough, but it, like, you know, we lived in it for over two weeks on a cross country trip and it worked out great. Um, so I added the netting here and we used this area as a pantry. And then we have uh, this little cabinet for paper goods, kind of some under the sink for your kitchen wear and I use little bins I added this top shelf to store some things like a silverware bin and then I made this little bin to hold my toiletry things so they didn't bounce and fly all over and I just put elastic in it and then we have a little bit of storage over here and this is a radio which is nice we actually use that a lot and then of course your under the seat storage which really this side is lost because your water tanks and water heater is over there and your cord storage and that pretty much takes up that whole area so then you have the two under the seat and we have a heater which we live in Florida that we don't ever need or use but so we talked about ripping that out just to get extra storage space but it's not worth the effort so that's pretty much the inside the front of ours you have your gas tank of course and then a battery holder definitely definitely get a battery it is so nice to have lighting and a bathroom because that'll run your water pump any place you go we used that a whole lot and then it has a little side access panel so you can get to your hoses and things that you're stored under the seat this KZ Sportsman is a bit of a low profile camper which is nice for aerodynamics However, you don't have much clearance, so if you pull in some place with an incline, uh, we scraped a lot on our trip, which was a little bit nerve-wracking, but I've noticed some campers don't have, like if you notice this has like a, I don't know what you call it, a scrape bar on the back, so that if you do pull up on an incline, you're not going to rip off your sewer attachment. It kind of prevents it from getting ripped off, and I've noticed that's not on all campers, so I would be just aware of that. and. I mentioned we had pop-up gizmos so this is what it is it's like this space age material it's not just plastic it's a nice heavy material you can cut it you can sew it it's not just gonna rip and shred and it's an insulating layer for when it's hot or cold out um, and I bought an odd and end clearance piece so it doesn't quite fit the camper perfectly so don't hold that against the owner but it's a small owned business I don't personally know the fellow but when I dealt with him he was very nice responded personally great guy to deal with and that's pretty much the consensus with his business he offers a very good product I highly recommend looking into pop-up gizmos for your tent end I'll show you Thank you. 
Here's our camper fully open. It opens to about 24 feet. Really nice size for a family of four or five, I'd say. One other recommendation. I get these at Dollar Tree and you can order them by the case if you don't have a Dollar Tree that carries them near you. And I definitely recommend keeping damp red in your camper. It just helps keep the mildew down and not an issue. So, and it's worth it for a dollar or two a month that it costs. Happy camping!